Okay, we're going to draw up this slimline coffee table. Um, so the first thing to always do when you open Fusion is um, you get a new uh, untitled document open in front of you. Uh, make sure you've got your educational license um, and you're logged in as yourself. Um, we're going to save this document to start with and make sure that you have got a new location here. So under your projects, come down and start a new project. Type in the um, the project name. So I'm going to call mine Slimline Coffee Table. You want to call it Year 10, Year 11, Year 12, um, whatever you're working on. Make sure that it's got an independent um, file um, folder or project folder to work on. Um, the next thing to do is to come up here and make sure you are in your folder here. So sorry, I'll do that again. I've already set up my folder. Um, I'm going to call this one the same, so um, Slimline Coffee Table, and that is going to be our master document that we're going to put all our components into. Save it. Once it's saved, make sure it comes up here, and um, we're ready to go. So the first, um, before I start modelling and using any of these tools, I'm going to come up to this one here, which is my parent, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to put um, a component within that. So we're going to create a new component, and this is normally right, so standard, uh, internal, and it's a new component. We can call this one um, top panel, and we put the okay to that. So you can see that we're working on this kind of uh, component that's nested under this. We're going to have a whole lot of features under here eventually, um, but we're going to keep working on this document. So um, let's get started on the modeling. We're going to create a sketch. We're going to use this plane here. Um, you'll see the top view facing correctly, so we don't want it kind of sideways. We want it um, correctly looking like that. Rather than using the two point rectangle, I'm going to go down and change it to center point rectangle. And I'm going to click on the center. I'm going to make this one um, 400. So this is the, um, the width, or sorry, the depth of our cabinet. Um, once I've written 400 in there, I can go minus um, the size of my edging. So I'm thinking about the materials that I'm using here. So I'm going to have 12 mil material on the, the um, front. I'm going to get, have 12 mil material on the back. And then I'm going to go tab and I'm going to look at think of the other side. So this is going to be the overall um, width. So if you're looking at the, the product from the front, um, so I have to think about well, what's the side edging going to be on this one. So I'm going to want it 600 wide, and I'm going to take off. Um, 8.5 off each side, so um, we'll times up the two and make it 17. So overall size is 600, finish size. Um, 17 mil edging on it in woodwork is going to make it um, that 583. So if you're not good at maths, um, type in the kind of edging that you need, um, and um, that should make things easier. Um, so I'm going to finish my sketch at that point. Remember your shortcuts, so I can press shift down and hold my um, roller clicker down and I can move that around or move it with a view cube up here. Um, I'm going to use extrude and I'm going to extrude this 17. Um, 17 is the thickness of the, um, the material we're going to use, so that's the, the veneered particle board. Okay, to that. That's our top done. Now, the top panel wasn't a very good um, name for this, and I'll show you why in a sec. So I'm going to right click and I want to duplicate this so I've got a top and a bottom panel. Right click, copy, and then come up to this one here. Right click. Um, we want to paste. There's a difference between paste and paste new, which you'll see in a minute. This one's definitely paste. That allows me now to drag another panel down. Just go down. Just over 200 is good, and click OK. So now I can activate that panel, or that panel, or the whole design up the top. Now top panel wasn't a very good idea, so I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to call this large. And you can see it's large panel 1 and large panel 2. 
um, that's perfect at the moment because when we go into the woodwork room we won't know if it's the top or the bottom they're both the same so we need two of these large panels while we have still got this copied or we can go back in and copy either one we can paste it into this top um, parent um, file again so this time instead of going paste we're going to go paste new so this one's going to come out and we're going to drag it out don't worry about where you put it at this stage and we'll spin it 90 degrees click ok so we want to edit just this one at the moment you can see if i change this one now to side and get rid of the one with the brackets you can see this one just changes where if i change the file name here which you don't have to do you can see they both change at once that's the difference between the copy which is this is and the copy new which is this one this is a brand new independent file now at this stage you might want to hide these two because it's going to get a little bit confusing we'll just look at the one we're going to work on um, we're going to click on it um, and we are going to do some editing here so um, let's have a look at the overall um, size of the project so we're going to go back into this one double click and we're going to change some of these around so um, we still want this one to be the same but we want to change this one to um, 150 take 17 so that comes out at 133 and finish that sketch so you can see it's quite a bit smaller if I can turn these on you can see it fits a little bit closer here now so I'm going to zoom into this side and do another edit on this plane here doesn't matter if it's the front or the back create a sketch capture position now we are going to take a chunk out of here and the same chunk out of this one here and what we are going to do is we're going to take 8.5 by 8.5 away let me see and these ones are going to be the same try and put the dimensions on the outside if you can it just makes it a little bit easier later and we're going to extrude that so finish sketch extrude and we'll move those pieces there finish sketch and we can turn on our large panels so this is going to end up nesting in between the two I've got perspective turned on so most of you will have your camera angle in orthographic and that's definitely the best way to do this now these views aren't going to line up probably don't spend too long just dragging things around because it is a bit of a waste of time to try and get things fitted like this because we're going to use the um, assemble features a little bit later so we've got our two large panels we've got one side panel you guessed it we're going to copy this one and we're going to paste it in here um, this time we're going to just do a direct paste because um, it's exactly the same as the other side do a 180 and you can see how that will fit together All right, the next step is to assemble. So, um, like I said, don't worry too much about getting these together because we're actually going to pull them apart. And this time we are going to assemble them with the um, join feature. I'm going to click the join feature and then I'm going to go capture position. Um, we've already, no, we haven't. Sorry, we'll cancel that. We'll select our first panel and we're going to ground this. So, right click and up to here to ground you'll see capture position you see there's a little drawing pin there now so this one here can't move where the others all can still the next thing we're going to do is go back to the join feature we'll click that capture position again and we're going to come in here 
and I'm going to select this edge here and I'm going to spin this guy around and click this one here that should bring it together um, there's lots of different ways of joining and there's probably no real right or wrong way to do this so um, that one there I like to click the flat edge like that and sorry my computer's a bit glitchy tonight and this one here I can click on that one it takes a bit of practice getting the right um, selection but after a while you get it right Last one, I'll select this one in here, make sure you have the flat, and then in on this one, until make sure you have the flat surface. Now I've obviously got that wrong, so I'll cancel it. And go again. Might try the bottom this time. That one. My rotation is being very glitchy. So that one, we'll just check with our home view. It's come together all right. So that's what we're looking for. The next part is going to be adding the um, little beading, the solid timber beading on the outside. I'll show you that in the next video.